Okay, it's Iron Bill back, burning the midnight oil. Right now it's about 12.56 in the morning. Um, I'm not much of a sleeper, so I thought I'd get in some more Iron Banner. I did a little solo queue, a couple matches. I'm really just being obsessive because I'm trying to finish off this catalyst and I want to get this quest done so I can get my turn in my bounties and get my armor. Uh, I'm still running um, Arc Strider, Hunter, Middle Tree. I did change my grenade to the, to the pulse, I believe, and I switched to the Seraph Bunker shotgun because I have a great roll on that, uh, the CQC. Uh, I'm not very quick with it because I don't play with shotguns a bunch, but um, I do manage to pull some kills down tonight with that. I think you'll see one or two in this match, but mainly I'm here to work on that Seraph bounty because I really want to get that catalyst done. <coughs> Excuse me. And so, I see I've got somebody right behind me, and here comes a shotgun kill. It's got pretty decent range. It's not a mindbender's, uh, and that's worth bearing in mind, but it, as far as, you know, something that you, that is easy to get, it's easy to farm for it, um, it's, it is a good shotgun. And honestly, once the bunker opens up, the third bunker, I think it'll be one of the guns that you'll be able to get bounties for. Just look how good Suros is. I mean, it is so easy to use. And I'm not a terribly great aim, but those mods that I have on my Hunter here make all the difference in the world. So anyway, uh, we're kind of playing in their spawn here. And I'm giving myself range, because that's what you want to do with the auto rifle, is be about mid-range with it, not long range. But I see that uh, most of my team has moved on to newer territory, and no one is taking zones. And this began to play out. Uh, my team began to play like this was Clash instead of taking zones. And we actually wind up in a little bit of a uh, pinch here in a little bit because of that. Although we were never really truly in that great a danger of losing, we did allow them to close. And you always want to be careful with this uh, game mode in that the catch-up mechanic is very cruel. And you can have a super dominant lead and somehow lose it. Okay, so I'm moving back here to A, planning to take it. I see this fellow, and my goal is to get the zone. I'm not going to chase him because I don't know if he has a shotgun. And on uh, PC, it's so easy for a mouse and keyboard player to just whip around 180 on you. Uh, and I also noticed that uh, the other player over there killed him anyway, so it didn't make much difference. We got the zone. That's what we needed to do. And if I was the only person playing zones, then that was the way it was going to be. Now, check it out. They've got C, and they're about to get B. And they are all there. And I'm thinking, nope, I'm going to back out of that. And I've temporarily flipped to the shotgun because I'm used to having the sidearm there. And I thought I was going to get rushed. Uh, but I didn't. And I've got my super now. And I'm just picking the spot to use it. And I may have popped it just a tad early there. But I was kind of out in the open. And I didn't want to uh, get myself sniped. Well, I guess I could have. I had my back turned. But anyway, I just felt it was safer to pop it out there. And I got some kills off of it. And was able to capture the zone as a result. So far, so good. Now we're up by 20 points at this uh, juncture of the game. I jump up here and see all kinds of people, and if I get up there again, I'm gone. So I back out, and I'm going to recover here in the hallway. Now, this is a bad place to be when you got a hard light player in the lobby, which we did, and he just pulled me right out of that tunnel. Now, as easy as uh, Cyril's is to use, hard light is even easier. You, all you had to do is spray it down that hallway. And, and really, you don't want to try to hit people with that. You want to try to hit the ground and the walls around it because uh, the reflected shots are double the damage. And if they ever do go after anything on that gun to fix it, that's going to have to be one of the chief things. Uh, double the damage for a missed shot just doesn't make a lot of sense. All right, so back to taking zones. And I, I have no idea what the plan was with that. I mean, it's something I do occasionally, just jump into a bunch of people uh, because I get impatient. But now I'm going to show a little patience because I know, I mean, first of all, I see that super come in here and I decide to help my teammate out there and shoot the, the uh, whatever, that, the trap. But I know they're going to come for the zone because they've got the other two. And I'm just going to sit here and wait just off the radar and I will not be disappointed. 
There he is. There's the first. Thorn guy was a pretty good shot, but he was way out distanced by that. Daybreak comes in, and I do a lot of harm to him, but can't quite finish him off, and I don't really want to die to him. Here comes the other fellow, crouch shooting, get him. And I'm starting to see red all over the radar, which means our folks are on the other side of the map, and I've just had the spawns flipped on me, which happens quite frequently, and I'm not going to let it uh, death happen that way. And they just weren't taking zones. They were all over on the other side. Who knows what they were doing, but it wasn't taking zones. B was left unguarded. And I'm just thinking, all right, you know, we're going to throw this one. We're 25 up. Thorn has hit me for a couple, and I think I'd better back off. He gets one more shot on me. I'm going to get taken out. And he had a teammate there with him, so I'm just going to rotate through and then flip around. And see, he's pursuing. He, he wants the meal. So I'm just going to keep moving towards my team. If, if they're going to take the zone, they're going to take the zone. But we're going to go get a different one. I decide to go up here and see where this guy is who's contesting that zone and he's not on top he's not below here he's already moved out so gone uh, heavy's up gonna go defend that and once again I'm not quite sure what the play was there but that didn't work out real well they're on B there's a sniper just covering that ledge I can't get in there now watch this death that I get That said hard light, but one shot and I was full health, no way. So I, that, that had to be misreported. It had to be something else. I'm not sure what. It had to be a sniper. Sounded like a bow. All right, so now we have, they finally got back to business on capturing zones and we got a hunt. The, the heavy is uncontested, so I'm going for it. I spot a couple of players over there. I'm going to get off the radar, drop down low, catch this guy by surprise. The other guy goes up the staircase, and I get him too. So far, so good. Now we're beginning to push the lead out again, but again, we have to get zones. You can't ignore them. And I suppose if I was... 100% focused on the Suros. I wouldn't bother with that. I'd just play Clash, but I don't know. I'm, I'm competitive too, and I like to win. <laughs> so, where possible, I'll play the objective. Alright, I do have my super again. I noticed that. B is being taken, but I know that they're going to come for it, and I'm just trying to bait it. Just let him jump in here and then go for it. Now that guy sees me and he's long gone, which is okay. I want the zone. But I don't play this very well. Jump into the door instead of jumping up. And he gets away for a moment. He comes back around here. I get a grenade on him. And then Swarlock is coming up behind me. Instead of hitting him with a shotgun right from the start, I try to Suros him. And it was too late. He was already within shotgun range, and he got one good shot on me, and that was all for me. But, with uh, this, the, the match is coming to a close with the capture of that zone. And honestly, I'm not unhappy with the play. I mean, I'm not a very good player. Played the objective. We won. I made progress on all my bounties, and, well, it was just a good night. So with that, this is Iron Bill, and I'm going to go ahead and sign off.